This is probably one of the larger productions that the school's ever done. We've had a professional choreographer that's worked with Disney, and she worked out all the big dance numbers, Be Our Guest, the Beauty and the Beast song. We have an orchestra. This is amazing. Like, the set is, it's huge and really amazing to work with. Everybody, young and old, everybody loves Beauty and the Beast. I mean, what you see in the movie, if the kids watch the movie a lot, the, the cartoon, you'll get all that plus a little bit more. So the, it should be exciting for the kids. We've got forks, spoons, knives, and cutlery. Well, I'm the scenic and lighting designer for both shows. Um, Hedda Gabler is um, set in the 1950s and Glass Menagerie set in the 1930s and I had to try to make a, a set that would complement both shows and work around that and both lighting designs. So um, the set's just really glossy. It's, it's polyurethane that I painted on without a mask. Like, it's always really nerve-wracking before it starts <laughs> because something always goes wrong. <laughs> but, you know, no. there's random things that go wrong in the middle that Annie and I sit back here and hide under the box because we're like, oh, I can't do anything about it now. <laughs> but it works out. I push this button right here, and I turn this knob, and this knob right here. Our fault is in asking too little, in waiting. Like foolish, obedient dogs sitting in the rain, waiting to be told our fate. We carry all the future we need, right here, in our heads and in our hearts. So let us invent it, Nina. Let us shape it to suit our needs, so that when we arrive, the, the future will be like a familiar room. Each small object in its place, home to a thousand quiet comforts. Thank you, Nina. Thank you for your premonition. <laughs>